Hey guys, it's Ivy, and today I am finally doing a what's on my iPhone video. I've always wanted to do this video, but if you guys don't know, I film on my iPhone, so that would be really difficult to do both at the same time. Um, but I recently got a new really good quality camera, so I am able to film a what's on my iPhone video finally. So I just wanted to start off by showing you guys the outside of my iPhone because I have this really cool screen protector over it, and I am kind of obsessed with I think it. It's such a girly design, and I did get this um, put on my phone in China, but you can um, definitely look for like screen protectors and covers on online and just put it on yourself. And down here, this thing gets a lot of questions and compliments. Um, so this is a, a plug where it plugs in where the headphones would be, and it's just a dingly piece of um, little iPhone jewelry, I guess. And I got this from Etsy, so if you're looking for something similar. Anyway, this is what my iPhone looks like, and let's just go ahead and get right into so, it. So let's go ahead and start with the bottom four spaces. So I have one folder here with all the kind of essential phone apps. And then in this folder, I just, it's kind of a random collection of whatever apps that I've been really obsessed These with. These three have been in here for pretty much since I've had my phone. So I have WeChat, which is a great socializing app. It's like a voice messaging kind of app, but also there's a section where it's kind of similar to Instagram. you share your pictures and stuff. So I use that a lot to connect with people and then Instagram which is a public profile and um, if you guys don't follow me you should and this is what my page looks like and it posts a lot about food um, and I do also a lot of outfit of the days on there as well and, um, I have Candy Crush one of my favorite games I think um, and it's one of the few games that I play continuously. Um, I am currently on level, uh, 225, and up until probably, like, 200, um, all of my other levels have three stars. I've worked on getting three stars on every single That's level. It's, like, one of the things I'm OCD about. Like, I have to have three stars on all levels. Anyway, and then I have camera settings, which is pretty basic. And also, I want to quickly talk about this thing. You can turn this on in the settings. It's called assistive And touch. I didn't really know about this until I went back to China, and literally everybody uses this because um, if you press the home button a lot, it stops working and also it's just bad for the phone or something so I just use this um you could do a lot of things on here you could lock the phone volume up volume down mute um so I pretty much use this for all my control functions so I don't ever really have to press um any of the buttons except to wake the phone Currently, up. I'm in a phase where I like all my apps displayed but I do um have phases where I just like everything in folder uh the first page is kind of random I keep some social media stuff up here I have QQ which is um a major major Chinese socializing app that I use. Um, and then Facebook, of course, Snapchat. And then this app, which I really, really like, it's like an audiobook app, except everything is free. And there's books, but there's also, um, like, music, there's, like, podcasts, there's, uh, like, entertainment, and there's also some traditionally Chinese kind of, uh, talk shows, I guess. You can listen to novels, and you don't have to pay for anything, because these are all done by personal, like, actual real people so if I wanted to I could record an audiobook on this a lot of people are really professional in the app whereas they it sounds like they're recording in a studio they have background music they have sound effects so it's just a really pleasant thing to listen to and I've been obsessed with that so that's my version of audible and then in the reference section I have just a couple of things um google maps and maps stocks and facetime and then in the entertainment folder, I have all the stores and music, which I don't really and use. This is a music app for discovering Chinese music. So this app gives you like different uh, top lists of what's like trending right now. So it allows me to keep up somewhat with Chinese music. And then I have Spotify and Pandora, but I do like Pandora better. I don't really honestly listen to music all that much. I'm almost always watching either Netflix or listening to that audiobook app. And then I have Wallpapers HD, which is where I get all of my wallpapers and it's a great app they have a variety of styles i normally and nature slash um like flower kind of things i like that kind of uh background I have star maker which is like a karaoke app i just i 
don't really use it all that often. I have often. news with CNN, and this is uh, Tencent News, which is a Chinese news app, so I use that to keep up with what's happening in China. Um, and also, it's it's good to see news in different perspectives, so they have world news as well. Um, and a lot of the time, CNN doesn't really cover Chinese news a whole lot. Um, and these are both new because I just updated them, but I do look at them. Um, and it's really nice because they send you like little snippets on the notification thing, so you can quickly glance at it and I feel more uh, educated and informed. Okay, so now moving on to the second page, I have some basic stuff up here plus a flashlight. And then um, I have calendar. And then I have a fake call. Pretty much free. you can schedule an unknown caller call and it comes in like this. I know the screen is kind of outdated, um, but you might have to update the app. I'm not sure. I haven't used this in a while, but it's just like it schedules fake calls and you can even do video calls. They have several selections. You can personalize the like caller screen to make it more realistic looking, but I just haven't bothered to do that. Yeah. I have this tuner, which this is a great tuner app if you play it. It's metronome for my instrument as well. And then compass, reminders, notes, and the any do is um, one of my favorite productivity apps that is just, it just looks really clean, you know? Um, so I just, I love that about it. Um, and it's just very pleasant to look at. And then I have this follower tracking app just because I suddenly lost like 20 followers, um, after my contest ended. So, uh, I decided that I should have that in case of future giveaway. So I know who not to, um, make eligible. And then this is my dedicated photo app page. The most frequently used are probably this one up here and also Fonto. And this um, is honestly an all-in-one because you can do so many different things. You can do a collage, except I don't recommend it if you are using Instagram because um, it doesn't automatically do a square. They have a, um, so here is one of my selfies and we are in the facial editing. They have a separate facial editing and just general editing. So down here you can make your skin more flaw. Oh, okay, that's a little scary. I don't usually like to do that. Um, but then there is, uh, like, spot check right here. I rarely ever do this just because it takes so much effort, and I honestly don't really give a crap. Um, so you can do this for freckles, and here there's also a zoom. <laughs> like, you can make your eyes bigger. I'm filming. Do you need anything? Um, and then you can see the before and after. Do you see? This is before, this is after. There's a minor difference. So it's still pretty real looking. I don't really do that either, trust me guys. And then there's also um, to make your face slimmer, to get rid of your dark circles, which I desperately need. I don't know how this is gonna work. So you just kind of swipe down there. That was a really skinny line, just kind of lightens everything. So it's a great app. Um, for if you take a lot of selfies and you like to edit them. But at the same time, there's also a normal photo editing section where you could edit like, let's say, pictures of food. And then there's like filters, all sorts of different filters. I love this uh, app's filter. Change the contrast. It's all in Chinese. I'm not sure if you could set it to English. So you could add frames. And this is one of my most commonly used. It's those like pens to add stuff. This is a flower petal one, which I will remove because that doesn't make any sense. Um, there's a four leaf clover one. And then the one that I most frequently use is the hearts. And you'll often see this where, um, it looks like crap right now because I'm not really doing it right. But when you do it, like tap it and you can also drag it and I'll just spread hearts all over. Honestly, it's a very, very good photo editing app. I definitely recommend this the Other ones I can't really recommend because honestly, I don't use them all that much. Split Pick is a pretty cool app. Um, and then Reflection, which is just Reflection. This is an app where you can add like cool writings and stuff. It's kind of a cool app, but it's just not for like every day. It's kind of for more like artistic photos. And then I have a couple collage apps down here, which I honestly don't use. This is one that I recently downloaded, and apparently it's kind of like that Chinese app I showed you that just does everything in one app. Um, I'm not sure if they have as good of a, like, selfie editor, though, so I'm not sure about that, but it collages, and also, like, once you collage, like, there's a lot of editing off. Fonto is a great app. Here's a picture of me in my possible future prom dress, um, but, okay, so this is where, if you see me on Instagram, you click square crop, and this is where you can do all these different type of things, where they, like, are not completely within the frame, or you could put it, um, 
to the sides, which is what I like to do a lot, so it looks like that. So this is a perfect app for that, and then what I most often use this app for is to add text. You can choose all different colors. It's completely free. There's like a bajillion different fonts, and honestly, it, it's just, it's great, and it's all free. There's a bajillion of different colors. That's and well. then the next page, this is my so-called lifestyle page. The laser is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty much where you can search for a product, and they, uh, like, gather it across a bunch of online websites and show you where it is the cheapest to buy. So, um, that's kind of the idea of it, and I think that's pretty cool. And then I have um, Grubhub, which is for ordering food, um, which I do use to look at menus and stuff. And then nothing else too special. My Fitness Pal, I kind of use it like here and there. I don't really, I'm not very consistent with it. And then Shopkick is a great app that I've talked about before, where you can earn points for going into stores and scanning things, no purchase necessary. So I will link my invite down there because I've gotten, I think, around $20 since I've started using it. And honestly, isn't that hard at all. So absolutely love this that. This is my uh, arcade games? No, these are my action games, or so-called action. Um, so I have Temple Run, Subway Surf, which is my favorite. I love that a lot better than Temple Run, because there's different challenges and stuff. And then Dumb Ways to Die is one of my favorite apps, and I will demonstrate. Alright, so that's the gist of it, and they actually have a lot of other uh, scenarios too, I don't know why this time they don't really show any of those. Um, Game of Life is one of my more frequently played as well, and then over here I have um, Unblock Me, which I do really, really love, um, and the Airport Scanner is also one of my favorite. You like, scan stuff, and you have to memorize what's in this book all the dangerous items and all the legal ones and then the rare items so you kind of get a gist of what they are. No tiny tower which I'm kind of out of right now. I have like, I don't know, 100 something floors. Flappy Bird which is just there because it's no longer in the app. Store. So yeah, that is it for my what's on my iPhone video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any app recommendations or apps that you cannot live without, um, please let me know. So um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!